Hi everyone, this is Rachel from Cyber Sports Network and we're doing a piece for the Razor Academy. I'm here with Astoji from It's Gosu and we're at MLG Raleigh, but you have decided to focus solely on WCS. So what was behind the, the overall decision just to limit your, your focus? Well, the prize pool for WCS was $60,000 and it included no Koreans, so uh, because it was so heavily skewed towards the top, I really wanted to do well. I wanted to qualify for China and I was focusing on that. I mean, realistically, my chances of winning MLG or even making money off MLG are very, very, very low because there's so many Koreans and in order to do that, you have to beat like five or six Koreans and I didn't have a bite around five, so I would have had to play through the entire open bracket and I don't have the best endurance in the world, so there were a lot of, there were a lot of factors behind that decision. I know Scarlett also didn't do it. Um, there, there are a couple players that also opted not to play in MLG as well. Uh, it worked out okay for me. I qualified for China and, uh, you know, I didn't get to play MLG. I was a little bit disappointed because, you know, I've not been playing games over the last day, but uh, it, it was a good, good event for me so far. Well, that's a very smart decision. With so many StarCraft tournaments going on, people really stretch their focus, but you were able to, to pick something that you wanted to do and narrow in on it, and I thought that was a, a really interesting, very smart choice. So you also play in your school's uh, CSL team. What is it like balancing schoolwork and CSL and the rest of your competitive StarCraft career? Yep, so last year I was studying history, so I actually had time to game quite a bit because I had 14 hours of class a week. I'm going into business school next year, so uh, I'll probably have less time to play, but I'm still going to try and be competitive. I'm still going to you know, try and be a top North American player for sure. And it is, it is tough to balance all of that. I mean, the CSL team, I, I have a lot of people that help me out. I mean, technically I'm the coordinator, but there's a lot of people that, you know, put a lot of work into that team and I'm just there as a kind of figurehead now so that's kind of awesome and I have a lot of good friends on that team so it's a lot of fun to be a part of the CSL team and you know have you know come to events like this and be I guess a bit of a celebrity at a StarCraft event but also have you know StarCraft lands with your friends at school so it's a lot of fun. It's important to keep it real but it's very exciting that you're going to be heading to China to play in the WCS National Finals. That is something that, that not a lot of gamers get to do. They get to travel internationally. And I think it's really brilliant that Blizzard is doing this national plan, really giving each group, each area, a, a, you know, a place to shine on its own. So are you looking forward to more tournaments like this that maybe limit participants by country? Yeah, I mean, you, you look at it and you're like, oh, well, NA is really easy. But I think for me, it was a really good opportunity to show that you know, maybe, maybe I can't compete with the top Koreans in the world consistently. Uh, I do have some good games. I do you know, take a match here and there. but. For me, uh, because I don't play full time, and for a lot of factors, I'm not able to, you know, necessarily win in MLG. But I'm, I'm capable of taking, uh, placing really high in WCS, and hopefully, by the time WCS uh, World Championships come in November, I guess, uh, I'll be able to improve my skills so I'm uh, actually contender to advance and, you know, actually place really well at uh, and beat some Koreans in China. Well, you said you had time with your schedule because you're a history major. Now you're going into business school and you're going to have to focus a lot more on school. How much do you think you need to focus on StarCraft to maintain a professional level of play? Well, the thing about StarCraft 2 compared to Brood War is that mechanically the game's a lot easier. So as long as you're keeping up with the current metagame uh, and you already have developed, I guess, the basic skills, it doesn't require a ton of practice. I know you look at guys like Didoro, Starlife, DDE, those three players, uh, they play a lot of Dota 2. And you know, coming into this event, they still did, they still placed you know pretty decent results considering, you know, they don't play a ton of StarCraft. And hopefully, I'll be able, I'll be able to you know be one of those players that doesn't necessarily you know practice 14 hours a day, but uh, keeps up with the current meta games, practices here and there, and you know gets ready for events when they have to. But you know, they don't, they're not able to put in that huge time. And hopefully, by next summer as well, uh, I'll be able to go back and kick it into overdrive and do really well at some tournaments. Well, do you have any advice you'd like to share for student gamers who really want to push their prof uh, their professional potential? Yeah, I think it's a lot of practicing efficiently. I mean, you, you can't just sit there and play mindless games. It's got to be, you know, good practice. Uh, think about what you're doing, watch replays, and actually analyze your own games. Because uh, essentially, it depends on how much time you want to put into StarCraft and how much, you know, you're willing to give up in order to, uh, I guess, pursue your dreams of pro gaming. And, you know, there's, there's a balance that you have to find if you do want to do school, but Certainly, I think it is possible to, you know, be a top player and still, you know, have other commitments as well. So, it's it's tough to do, but I think it's it's very doable. Well, thank you so much for your time and for your uh, your knowledge that you're sharing with us. Is there anyone that you want to shout out to? Uh, shout out to my team at Gosu and our sponsors: Nos, Raid Call, uh, Max Integration, Own3D, and uh, yeah, thanks a lot, everyone, for watching.
And thank you, Razor. And thank you, Razor. Yes. <laughs>